What are you looking at? Let me see. <laughs> I didn't know you read this too. I always read every new chapter they release. Yeah, Flaming Devil Sword. Woohoo! So Kotadama is split into levels. Dark Flame, eh? I see you've learned some of his special moves for yourself. What's with this awful handwriting? It's left me absolutely speechless. Ah, but I really do love this story, you know? It's only when I read this story that I can truly reminisce over those days spent back in Japan. Ah, that was before I became president of the student union. I was so unsophisticated back then. Just a wimp who could only cling to my classmates whenever danger struck. Lionheart Society President is downstairs waiting to see you. Shall I say you're on your way? Hey, he's back. Good thing he made it back here in one piece. Quick, let's go see him. Meeting adjourned. I'll go find the Lionheart President. President, given your standing and that of the student union, you can just have him come up here. There is no need to go down yourself. Are you crazy? I'll be the one to go see him. Either that, or I'll sit here and wait for him to come to me? Right. Either way, we better hurry up and go find him. Hey! Hey there! Have you seen him anywhere? I thought the Lionheart Society president had already arrived. Where is he? I've been waiting for you, Mr. President. I must apologize for making you come here in person, too. Huh? Perhaps you don't remember me. We met several times before. You were always busy. We never had a chance to speak properly. Let me reintroduce myself then. I am Bubble, president of the Lionheart Society, a second year majoring in Dragon Raja history. Oh, it's you, Bubble. My memory truly is awful sometimes. Seems like there's been a transition in the Lionheart Society. Right. It wasn't all that long ago I took the position. There's a lot I still haven't done to grips with. So, I know I'll be learning not quite. I never had full control over the student union. I owe a lot to the other men. I understand. But Mr. President, you're a good figure to compare oneself to. And having rose to president, you had the Amber Pavilion completely made over. It's president. true. Not at all. Not at all. You hold terrific group activities and make each member feel like their family. The Lionheart Society would do well to take on each other your book. The previous presidents are still at loggerheads with each other. Things get heated in no time with them. They wouldn't know what to think were they to see us like this, I reckon. At loggerheads? As far as I know, although President Abbas can be a little out of line, He's always treated Caesar with respect. Who? The last Lionheart Society president, Abdullah Abbas. Wasn't Johan Shu the previous president? Where does Abbas come from? You must be joking, Mr. President. I've never heard that name before. You're joking, right? You don't know about Johan Shu? 
The whole college knows Johan Chu was the Lionheart Society's previous president. You're kidding me, right? Go ask him or her. Are they a new member of the student union, perhaps? One I've yet to meet. I'm sure they'll be quite skilled. Mr. President, I hear you've returned from Rio with some minor injuries. You should go for a checkup, just to be safe. <laughs> Isabel, why didn't you go see the President? He seems a bit muddled up. Johan Chu? Are you sure he's in our- It sounds like a Chinese name. Maybe an old friend of the President? Did you get smacked in the head while out on your mission, President? You what? This isn't April Fool's, you know. What's with all the messing around? Concussion often leads to memory issues, President. But this isn't a big issue. You just need to go in for a checkup. You need some physiatric counseling. There's never been a student named Johan Chu in this college. Never mind, President of the Lionheart Society. This is absurd. You don't know about Johan Chu? The blazing gazer Johan Chu? Don't you keep up with the novels put up on the Night Watchman forums? Go search up the forums. You'll find the chapter we are reading just now. Mr. President, you're in need of medical attention. Really? I'll take you myself. Keep your distance! I don't know any abbess, and I've never seen you before either. Johan Chu is the president of the Lionheart Society, and that's that! I don't care what you say! This is all a hallucination. Why else would everyone be insisting he doesn't exist? But he was clearly here not that long ago. In the cafeteria earlier trying to give me his midnight snacks trying to comfort me with that reasoning of his. Anything but persuasive. He even drove that Maybach back in high school to help me look good in front of my crush. Right, and the time at Six Flags too. Wasn't Johan there too, rushing to the front of the roller coaster tracks? You're right, he definitely does exist. There must be another way. Right, the student registry data. Aren't you having issues with your student data too? Go check it out in the library. Take my student card with you. I'll go to his dorms again. 
I'll be back in no time. Student, it's been many a year since I took a student. <laughs> As for this Johan Chu you speak of, there's nothing on him at all in the executive division's files. I can't say whether or not it's somebody's memory playing up, but if nobody else seems to remember, <laughs> it'd be best for you to go see Professor Toyama Masashi. He's the expert on this kind of thing. How on earth? Maybe I really do need to go see Professor Tayoma. But what if he thinks I've lost the plot? What if he tries to brainwash me? We're the only ones who remember his existence. If we forget him too, would that mean that Johan never even existed in this world at all? The way things are, we just have to pray that luck's on our side now. Follow me, but keep your distance. You've got to come up with some way to stop him if he tries to brainwash me. I'm counting on you. I think I understand your problem. First we'll start off with some hypnotic guidance, then some sedation. Tell me what kind of person this Johan Chu is. You know, Johan and I became friends back in high school. He's gifted, privileged, you know what I mean. Born into a rich family, good genes, and a handsome face. And he always looks so unaffected. Even the prettiest girls go shy around him. He's a hit with all the girls in college. I hear they've even been planning to team up and count his eyelashes while he's asleep. Someone like me was never fit to hang around a guy like him. But he was pretty terrifying too. A regular Terminator. 
never took any prisoners. Fell the Dragon King with one. He must be pretty sad inside. Although that stony expression of his never changes, you just know he's feeling it inside. He just does. He's got a nosy meddling side to him as well. Doesn't say anything straight. Always gossip. He'd blame me for disappointing him, using himself as an example for how to act. Like that help. Not everyone can be on his level all the time. In fact, so if it was the case that Johan Chu and he wiped her out himself. Who is it trying to just delete him from existence? I'll kill them! That's certainly a surprising way of ending things. Finished yet? What was I saying just now? Nothing. At the moment, I'm unable to help you with your problems. No good, it seems. The principal's speculations were accurate after all. It's not just a problem pertaining to memory. The principal? Does he already know? Especially considering the fact that someone who's lived this long, after all, he's probably awaiting you in the principal's office. Go see him. Luminous, just in time. Sit down. I've got a pot of Darjeeling brewed already. You take a seat, too. Principal, you still know him or her, right? I know why you're here. To be honest with you, I really don't recall having such a student. It's because of the trust placed in you that an outsider was allowed entrance to the college. I know you must have your reasons. I asked Eva, there's no record of him in the college registry. So it's likely not my old age and failing memory that's to blame here. But he or she is an S rank like me and a Black Swan Bay orphan. How can an eyewitness this important just be forgotten? Black Swan Bay. Black Swan Bay is certainly of great importance. I'd like to know more about that place, but there's little I can do. Luminous. Sometimes your memory can play tricks on you, but Eva's data never lies. At least not to us. Don't worry. There's no way to completely erase every trace of a person's existence. I remember clearly everything concerning you and him, both. So don't worry, you might be the only person in this world who knows where he's gone. So, Johan Chu, you... I can see this person's existence is very important to you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be rushing around searching everywhere like this. I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you, though. I've never met any young fellow from China named Johan Chu. In fact, you're the most promising of the Chinese youths we've found these years past. Is he nothing more than an illusion, then? How could a mere vision feel so... I remember that night when we were trying to draw the seven sins. Right in this... He sat right there. He just clung to the hilt as the sword was drawn. Cut... I remember the night when the swords were drawn. It was Darjeeling who drew that night too. The 
skylights were blocked out entirely with all the leaves blown by the huge gales. You were just sat there, seize that over that side, but the seat you're looking at right now was left empty. What about that matter when you were accused? Turned up? That representative from the Gattuso house arrived by train and said you weren't fit to be principal. That you had let someone as dangerous as Johan Chu join the college. Even using his... The whole matter of the accusing and all that. It certainly did happen. There weren't any experiments on blood samples. They turned on me due to the management chaos and budget overruns. That is quite enough, Johan Chu. There are those who wish to wipe your name from the college register, yet those who protect you are strong. We'll meet again. Say, are you about to tell me that they're gonna get... Enough kidding around. You suggesting I should go stop them for walk- Thanks. You're always great at making me feel better about myself. Really. Finger? Let's try and get in contact with him. The Blazing Gaze? Of course I know the Blazing Gaze. Really? You remember him? That's me, alright. I'm the Blazing Gaze. How can I forget a character I created myself? You're saying that there's no such thing as Johan Chu? That he's just a character you created? I'm being serious. This is an important creation of mine. Why would I joke about it? That's impossible. What's up? Why the long face? Do you think I'm mental too? Getting all torn up over a guy who doesn't even exist? Aw, oh, it's a shame, friend. I really don't know where to start looking for such a person either. But if there's anything at all I can do to help, you just say the word. Even if it means abandoning my Cuban goddess. Calm down, Luminous. Ah, 
It's all right, Principal. I... You're the only active s rank student, the student union president, and the college is counting on you. I can't bear to see you slip up. But it's often the case that others aren't able to help us with our inner demons. Professor Tomayo Masashi was unable to do anything. Then you'll need to go find someone who can help you open up. Someone who could help me open up? An island of the Republic of Malta named Lilithon. Upon that island is an enclosed college and within, no no. Don't let the word get out that you learned its location for her? What would I be looking for her for? Her power is profiling. Or perhaps I should say, super profiling. It's a power that grants her incredible insights, a power impossible to describe. And it might be just the thing to help you with the inner demons you're plagued by. As for why it's her, well, I've yet to be the kind to feign stupidity for any girl. Then... Thanks, Principal. We'll set off immediately.